I'm Adam Biggers of Michigan Warriors TV, and I'm here with Warriors coach Mo Mantha. Mo, let's, last night in Port Huron, you guys played well for about 48 minutes. You had a 2-1 lead, and then it just kind of fell apart. You lost 5-2. Saturday, you guys are going to Kalamazoo. It's a team that you guys have struggled against with a 1-6 record. What, what's the mentality of this team right now, and how do you guys bounce back from kind of letting one slip by uh, Wednesday night in Port Huron? Well, you know, like I say, in Port Huron, there's, they're, the, they're the reason why they're one of the, the top five teams in the, in the whole league uh, right now. They're, they're a good hockey club. They skate hard, and that's why they, they keep the gas, uh, the foot on the pedal, and they keep coming at you. And last night, again, we made some uh, young mistakes, and uh, we didn't play as a team in those certain key situations, and they capitalized on our, on our youth mistakes. Uh, we, we learn from it, and we move forward. Now we get ready for Kamazoo. Uh, as I say, the Kamazoo has our number, and for some reason they got our number, and we just got to find a way of, uh, as I say, we're playing the next three games. Um, we got to find a way to, to figure them, figure them out and how we give our, ourselves a chance to, to compete with them. And they, they've been, uh, they've been having the free run with us, the matter to be uh, polite and, uh, none of our games have been close with them. So I think we just got to restructure some things and, and re come up with some different ideas that maybe we give, our, give ourselves a better chance against Kalamazoo. How big would a road win in Kalamazoo be for these guys right now? I think any, any part of a good hockey club, no matter where you're playing, you got to develop a, a road uh, a road uh, record. And I think it's one of the things we've been talking about since after Christmas. Um, where our, where our record is on the road is not going to help us if we if we do get into the playoffs. That we got to start learning how to play on the road. There's certain ways you got to play on the road. And uh, the good example is uh, in Kalamazoo. That like I say they have our number. And uh, every time we've gone in there, we've walked out with uh, not a one or two goal difference difference it's been like four or five goals uh, down against those guys so I think we just got to figure a way and be smart in how we play the, the game against Kamazoo. Now you guys you guys are a bit streaky this year but you've you've given you've given teams you know good runs and you, you know you've had it given to you you're still in third place you guys aren't going anywhere I mean you guys you guys will kind of take your bumps and bruises now and then but you guys are still in third place how important is it for these guys to finish the season as hot as, hot as they started it? Well, the big thing with our club right now is, again, is being consistent and, and learning how to play as a team. And I think that's why we're, we're a role, basically we're a roller coaster team where we're a bunch of mosquitoes. We land and we, then we take off. And I think, again, it's just we're a young team and we got to learn how to play, play as a team and be consistent with our team play and discipline how we want to play our systems. And when we do that. To, that's why I think we keep hanging around and hanging around that the you know, we, we'll give some teams some fits, and then all of a sudden we'll get off our page, and teams will capitalize on our on our youth mistakes. So, again, we're a team right now that's learning to, to play as a team. Okay. Well, Mo, I appreciate your time. Good luck Saturday in uh, Kalamazoo. All right. Thanks very much, Adam.